My grandfather founded the company in 1910, and um, he started uh, making garments for the packing houses in Chicago. Chicago was the stockyards of the world. He made garments for the men and women working in the factories. And in those days, a butcher's apron and a surgeon's apron was the same product. So by coincidence, he drifted into selling garments to hospitals. And a sister at Mercy Hospital in Chicago said, you're making our surgeon's aprons. Could you make patient gowns? And I assume he said, what's a patient gown? But he figured it out. Medline's success isn't due to my brother or me or even Andy or Jimmy or Charlie. It was due to my father. Uh, he set uh, a tone that was extraordinary. He was an unusual guy. We weren't as good as he, but we were better than we would have been without him. Our first priority is to our customers. Without our customers, we'd be nothing. We wouldn't have a company. Second to our employees, they make the company. And third to our community and to the country. You, you would hope that people feel it's our company. We don't want to work for anybody. We don't want anybody working for us. We do want to work together. The products we sell are wonderful. So we were just uh, fortunate as can be. And the major factor in our good fortune was uh, the wonderful people we're associated with, our employees and our customers. Our customers were friends and they remain friends. And I mean that in the true sense of the word. They told us how to make our company better. So we're hopeful that'll continue and grow. But we also hope that um, the essence of the company won't change. 